and move unpredictably with wiry muscles of sound. As she writes in Tangerines, quote, the now blows hard around the small concentrated voice that, quote, would have rather been a grape till the thin skin between inside and outside bursts with the poem's final lines, quote, sticks in the mind to whittle, catch fire. The writing flickers along this edge where words' power to ignite is also their vulnerability to be burned down. The poem In Defense of Shadows evokes the nauseating slippage between material and immaterial forms as we try to see the future or draw pictures in the stars only to drop back into the body. Yet the shadows are hospitable and allow making and thinking to occur in the first place. The potentials outweigh the pitfalls as in a poem written after Dickinson, Simona writes, quote, the hand, stage, fingers, actors, palm, a choir, enables the extension from immediacy out to gesture and song. Uh, I'm really excited to hear Simona read tonight, so please welcome her. Hello. Um, thank you very much to the organizers for inviting me to, to read. Thank you, Nicole. That was beautiful. And thank you to everyone who come to this as a counterweight to the debates. <laughs> Uh, I will start with a kind of arts poetica and with one, two, and uh, in the middle get all confessional and um, <laughs> ekphrastic, and that's how it will come. <laughs> in Defense of Shadows, for Amina and Goya. Disparate bulls on their way from the heavens, hove at air that pulls the sound from our mouths upside down. The feeling wells backwards, closest at its source, and that grown stagnant, floats. What privilege it is to err when paths are all verboten, to spin, to slip in slow motion, to skip quartz on the morning. Suspended in nausea, emblem of nostalgia, what time later as a useless trophy won. With nobles behind and nobles ahead, all on their way, as gravity contends, who dropped them from the sky? Some idle fool waits for the splash, but imagine they're a dance. The first hangs fast to the last, and remembering, stampeded feels black blood stretch under porous hide, a sweeping expanse of shadow. This one is called, O oh, Captain, My Captain. Your shoulder is a shipwreck. The inside of your elbow is a ledge. The shrimp and other small fish get pushed by the mid-current. Your ribs, the waves mar, kings in sand, your locks, the seaweed suspended in the drift of your neck. The soft polyps of your head, eyes and cheeks, sea flowers. Your shoulder is a shipwreck, broken in three, after the first mine exploded, the captain, thinking we were under attack, turned back to fight and landed on the second. My shoulder is a shipwreck. It stays stiff with certainty, your fingers wandering into the jet stream, in and out of fish, compassing our hemispheres. This one is called a land contract. I am not foolhardily optimistic that things will go as planned, that the world as we know it will not end, that the entrance isn't around the back, that 50% chance of rain is hardly 100%, that our mind cannot tread without slipping, that I know what good news is, other than that I heard myself breathing and the earth's heart beating through my feet. I laugh heartily that kissing you is not kissing everyone in Timbuktu, that going through security doesn't introduce insecurity, that opting out isn't copping a feel, that telling the future will lead to the right path, that the earth will not soon be submerged under the ocean so we can't ignore the waves, that seeing is believing, that this is not a list of grievances, rather than a poem for the darkest of days, 
that I am not too late to be realistically optimistic about all that the above contains, even as the rain. Here's my confessional, if that wasn't one already. <laughs> Before I sat down, I vowed to write a love poem to the one who is not here and not talking, but I glimpsed this face every now and again on the flip side of a swipe card as it gains me entry to locked doors, and that's how love is, I guess. If you're patient, it lends you entry into the kingdom of heaven, but in the meantime, it's gathering words and rearranging them sometimes into negations, shuffling the deck, the heart, the feet along the gray rug, down the corridor, on the long path to meet a friend, while the corridor grows longer, while the steps become smoother, more reliant on the ground. Lately, I find myself wanting to sit on the ground, none of which has anything to do with you, except I would tell you as we drift to sleep, just my voice in your ear, even if we had separate beds so we could sleep better. There would be no physical obstructions to my voice in your ear, not even the question of whether we were awake or dreaming. Lately, my nose has been against your nose, a shape against a shape, two prows, whole crews, dead as our bows, crash in the night while I heard someone say, love is facing the same way. The sparring of the larks and the whale song and the ship in its ribs there for practicality and there for beauty, and I am interested in beauty and beauty, in hearing your melody, though I am melody historically. Keep whistling till I swipe your key, your mixed metaphors disarm me. Okay, this one is for Frank O'Hara, it's called Tangerines. Mm -hmm. I was reborn a tangerine, in between a cherry and an orange tree. I would have rather been a grape, all juice and little peel, my blessing and curse to extrapolate. Notice, a lot less room to glow, you can outhear the east, so silent is the listener, so loud. The leaves, the now blows, hard, a schooner underway, a crooner in the hay, an ancient mariner on the belay, the forms, change into sticks in the mind to whittle, catch fire. <coughs> and just two little ones left. Um, okay, this one is kind of a fall poem. Oh, wow. Ow, oh wow, now. Leaves dangle and throb to think in the wind. What now might be king, might beat spring. Why summer, its scepter, golden nay brown, elevated by import before falling down. And uh, this is my Ars Poetica, I suppose, um, for Emily Dickinson in particular. A bird in the bush is better than two in hand, if it sings. Much more than anything, the palm, a stage, fingers, actors, a choir, another sense. A warbler reverberates, relays, what it can sing tomorrow, today's recompense, hearing self. Thank you. Christopher Miller. Hello. So Tanya Foster comes to us from nearby, uh, where she works as an assistant professor of writing and literature at the California College of the Arts. Places she is from 
include Bloomington, Illinois, New Orleans, Houston, and Harlem. Honors she has received include fellowships from the New York Foundation for the Arts, the McDowell Colony, the Ford Foundation, and the Mellon Foundation. She has taught at Bard College, Queens College, and Baruch College. Her collection, A Swarm of Bees in High Court, which is here, came out with Belladonna in 2015, and she co-edited Third Mind, Creative Writing Through Visual Art in 2002. Um, there we go, got the dry stuff out of the way. Um, when, when Tanya was here for the Crosstalk Color Composition Conference last summer, um, a few things she posed up with me. In addition to reading some of her poems, she laid out some coordinates for a conversation about what she called geographies of struggle. One of those coordinates is the eye, which she described as, quote, trained and marked up by what surrounds and presses forward against it, by what it treads on and through. But this embodiment, grammatical or otherwise, is a two-way street. The eye also produces spaces, corporeal, national, native, sovereign. The list is as long as the politicization of experience. Reading her poetry, I think about how struggle becomes a situation how the material world, or the matter of the word, is strung through with traces of bodies, adjusting, defying, compensating, suffering what she calls, quote, mundane sadnesses. And I think, too, of how our attempt to narrativize such local, located struggles, to make them into a sort of analytical standard or geographical method, also wraps these bodily contortions with the cultural logics of whoever is doing the plotting or mapping. The lyric can play out this quotidian drama well, seemingly saying, I am yours. Though, as Tanya so often shows on the landscape of the page, quote, uh, and in brackets, why ours is one letter removed from its grammatical alternate, ours. As if we were back in the trying-to-be-haunted terrain of Emily Dickinson's manuscripts, we can read the phrase like two streets that run through the same place. I am yours. I am ours. Or as Tanya puts it in, quote, this is a, a poem from a uh, swarm book, A Grammar of Walking Barefoot in Grass, and this is her, to bear and to bear, your body's pleasing and petulant weights bone and flesh, just a flash. And what you can't hear is what I can see, the difference between bearing weight and bearing flesh, the difference between our body's pleasing and petulant weights and your body parting these green and brown blades. The drama of these alternating currents, the very principle of electricity, is everywhere in Swarm of Bees at High Court, even in the title of her poems, such as In Slash Somniloquies, we are faced with the tedious but crucial question of how one reads past or through a forward slash, the very mark we readers of poetry might have learned to recognize as the mark of a break in a line when it has been relineated into prose. Words seem reconstituted with these breaks intact, preposition separated from substantive sleep from waking, even the most granular forms become keeps for unrest, as Tanya plays out in a pairing of haikus that phase into self-quotation. This is Tanya. It was too late to think about being got. No good sleep in such thoughts. It was too late to, was a slip of comfort. It let such unrest keep. If it seems like there's no sleep in Tanya's poems, it is because even sleep has a sound, 
has a body that finds itself at play in courts where the graveness of the limits, quote, what doesn't kill her, are bandied about, bore and sworn into what we see and hear. They beg to be heard. Please help me welcome Tanya Foster. Hello. Hi. Thank you. That was a wonderful intro. Wow. Makes me want to read the book. <laughs> um, thank you for that wonderful reading. And thank all of you for being here. I keep thinking of ways that that, that phrase, make America great again. And there's part of me that thinks, make America not great on my nerves again. <laughs> what do we do with the great? Um, so it's something that we are here um, at this moment. Um, yeah. So I have, um, I'll just read. I won't talk, although my inclination is to chat a bit. Um, I wrote something called Policing, um, which is a three-line poem that's somewhere in this book. Policing. If I loved him, he would do what I say. If I shoot him, he will die as I say. If he dies as I say, I will have loved him. Um, this is in tongues. Um, In tongues. One, because you haven't spoken in so long the tongue stumbles and stutters, sticks to the roof and floor as if the mouth were just a house in which it could stagger, like a body unto itself. You once loved a man so tall, sometimes you stood on a chair to kiss him. Two, what to say when one says, you're so musical, takes your stuttering for scanning, takes your stagger for strutting, takes your try and try it again for willful, playful deviation, and makes you want to not holla, silence to misperceptions face. Three. It ain't even morning or early, though the sun up says day, and you've been staggering, long at sight, gagging, a certain breathless stillness that we can't but call death. Though stillness suggests a possibility of less than dead, of move, of still be. Four. How that one calling your trying music, calling your saying, entertaining, thinks there's no then that we. Who then that we? Remember, trace in our permutations of say. What mastodonic presumptions precede and follow each word, each beat, each bitter being? Five. These yawns into which we enter as into a harbor. Come, go, don't, says the vocal oceans which usher each us, so unlike any ship steered or steering into. A habit of place and placing a body, which choruses of limbs and wanting, of limp, Linger in each syllabic foot, tapping the chronic codes. And Storm of Bees in High Court is, is one long poem. The titles are kind of these punctuations in the poem for me. Um, yes. So, I'll just 
begin at the beginning. A mind is master, but the flesh is boss. Boned up, toned, taught, or taught. A mind is master angels of incidents to shake a booty down. Harlem Nocturnes. As always, there is our black robe, our top top clocks, your our gates gates and gravel. As always, there is this hill we climb, your our thicket, a stroll and stop her. As always, there here is just is us was and will be your our perennial knots. As always there here is unravel the ends of was, will be's, is, us, er, tongues. Insomnia. Beside her, he lies curled, sleeping, apostrophe, possession, and oh, mission accomplished. Again to this his sweat, now sleep, but not for her. Sleepless eyes like stagnant city pools, saltiness, then this thirst for ice. Another night's gradations of darkness become the counted sheep. Another night's darknesses like tar, like silt, like steel wool coil along her screen's narrow field of light. She wants to shout into the pastoral sleep of this his face, to shout at how sleep absents him, ab dissolves him from into himself. Pussy is condition. Al, ing, enter, and position, chromosomal, prepositional. Behind them, brackish water bangs through bathroom pipes, through the evening's TV tones, through this cask of sleep. Click the remote. Cough into the dark tree of your our hands. Swawa allow your voice back into the back dark spit of her throat. Love's silence comes on. Can running her finger like a hiss along this his clavicle trip up parenthetical affection? Full of sleep. This dark husk pulls closer. Catone and catwoo, meow meows under the closed bedroom door. Unmet desire ain't nothing but a mother of unintention. As she stares into her TV's 2 a.m. glares, watches the way she once watched a boy's body. Too quick for caution and traffic signs, parse the asphalt. Neighborhood boy, corner boy, man to be, been, bones. Man to be, been, bones. Man to be, been, bear this. Man to be, been, bones. Done and gone. What good is light on that? To want and not ask. To want and not ask. To want and not ask to want. To want and not ask. She, insomnium dramas, gets chased round the block by rabid white dogs. She, insomnium, drums up the dreary, damned, stalks interstices. Because body ain't only a grammatical sentence. There's no fleeing flesh. With music so loud and silence that you forget 
disquieting stars. She's come to take this as survival gospel for suburban souls. Should I also tell you, I've been writing into the book. Um, so there will come these spaces where, um, I don't know, I think often of, um, of Kamal Brathwaite, who's very important to my thinking about poetry and rethinking the idea of poetry as object, but poetry as process that sort of continues. Um, and so I have these sort of new things written into the pages of the book and will probably do that for a long time. Um, so, in some niloquies. <clears throat> Earthworms aren't maggots. Eating them ain't planting a tree or a flag. She wants to shout at her TV when some Sue gulps earthworms from a cup. She wants to shout at this idea that there's pay playback for what's done to come. Earthworms aren't decomposers nor distraction from street corner noise. Now you'd think a woman would know this, she thinks. This thought, a squirrel on a lawn. You think a woman, there are thoughts of other women, more squirrels, her mother. I'd hate you to miss sex when she wanted to be a nun. Her mother, I'd like to hear this. What do you know about a man when she wrote home about her lover whose mother taught her to knit? When she wrote home about knitting, she was still girl incognizant, still the girl writing, we are the faces we wear. Where, in flashback, still the girl with a face like a movie screen, who knits skull caps with yarn, red as cartoon blood, as red as mammy two-shoe shoes, matchstick heads, yarn red as cartoon lips and tongues, red as bandanas and pomegranates, red as blood, butterfly across the seat and white of summer culottes. Red as blood that says woman, maybe mother, says watch and count. Red as velvety cake she thawed and ate over two months morning, morning times. Red as velveteen curtains she wanted to drape around this moment. Red as morning, as bluster, as bluff as the flat of offering plates. Red as morning, as the unheated signal to stop. The sliced rare meat. Red as cherry now and later, as pickled pig's lips, as bruised knuckles. Red as cherry blow pops, as big red gum, as loitering before sleep. And pickled pig's lips, real thing. <laughs> red as distant red hook bees, drunk on cherry fungicide cocktails. Red as distant space, mapped, bought, and belonging to brutish say-so. Red as the administration of districts and blocked off blocks. Red as the administration of want as the red-handed wave so long. Red as red squirrels, as maples, as districts set for and lit with wanting. Red as red squirrels, North American, Eurasian, native, migrant. Red as red as red. Ass red as a baboon's ass is red. Come on, stop. Red as red as red as the seeping of coulda, woulda, you know. Red as subjunctive being, being the butt of taken and took down. Red as subjecting beings becoming to merchandising lines and limits. A red letter day in the red light district of insomniac night. A red letter day for seeing red scare the shit out of reason. Red cold from Nubia or matter root lends the hermit majesty, the woman infamy. Red cold from sawdust of the Brazil wood tree, primped a pope's robes, pimped, pussy. 
red cold from clay, from crushed, conch nail, kermes from worms, dried and ground, red cold from cinnabar, mined by the enslaved, the imprisoned, not eyes, red as compass, gauge, a stripe, a strike, as undertone of home, red as compass, gauge of light, cycling the edges of 620 to 740 nanometers, red as was here, as becoming, as becoming not here, red as note and gone and not, each red a note the ears noticing and gnawing, notational nothings. Each red a sheepish syllable counted in sleep's pursuit. Each red a sheepish syllable clocking the pursuit of shit. Each red a buzz, a buzz, a buzz, a buzz, a buzz, a blazon of want. Color that the temporarily colored one first perceived, red. Bee utterly flies, swims through corner voices. To be is to be. Be utterly fly, be itch, be road, be ache, between want, have, reach. Color that disappears in early film, black, boot black, blue black. What she know about silence? How it settles in a throat like swallow. How it settles like swallowing water or seeds they say might take root. How it settles like feet into the dailiness of their own falling. What she know about be coming to mind at times she, he thinks she don't think. Geometry of a park pool. A boy presses her 12-year-old head. Geometry of an air-filled melon beneath water with deft hands. She struggles against. Someone she can't remember sees her thin arms as she struggles against his hands. Their struggle breaking the water's skin. As if to make plain the difference between a thought and a need as if to map the shifting climates between words and bare knuckles, as if to show her knowing wasn't needed. He says he was playing. His young voice filled already like a snow globe with the coming winters. As if to show her the winters between words and budding fists, he laughs. His young voice fills all her thoughts of water waves in each new syllable. Yesterday, swarms in the marrow arrow of your our thought to she he lies there here, sleepless, yesterday swarms in. To eat or not to, then what? She clears her throat. You can't be eaten from everybody, her aunt warned after the first loss. You can't be eaten like you don't mind trading a baby for red beans. This moment's the smallest measure of memory, cell of meaning. This moment's the small may in a flash be object of central, forgot. It was too late to think about being got no good sleep in such thoughts. It was too late to, was a slip of comfort. It let such unrest keep. It was too late to call for peace, to call for calm after the bullets. It was too late to rescind flesh-rending shots shot into thought's shadow. It was too late to recall the boom booms shattering flesh and breath. It was too late to love after it's too late to breathe. It was, it is. Beside her, the dark husk murmurs, what to do, love what could destroy you? 
Beside her, the darkness outlines love, street light, these times, time again. Beside her, the dark husk murmurs in stereo, chest, block, city, on. He's asleep after telling her about the boy he was, his father's fists. He's asleep she can't fall to, a nap that won't keep or unkink. B-ball, yeah. high court. If I was a bird, I'd shit on you. <laughs> and Keisha, Chris, and Giselle too. If I was a bird, instead of an axle tree, we might could fly. We might could make a plan, make something out of apparently nothing. We might could make I am sore, sore, make I commit to be another. Grammatical ions, should happens, should be done happen, should be. Grammatical I says am, am, let, am I, I'm going to tell mama I am. Blind puddle, that was little boy's blood, cold water and Mr. Clean Clean. Blind puddle that was chance for movie chivalry, sunlight dries this thought. Blind puddle that was, posit the boy, strutting man to be the gods. Blind puddle that was, imagined sinews, tendons, tongue your wasness. Blind puddle that was miscreant affect of street side efficiencies. Blind puddle, that was his mama, cousin, grandma, weeping past your joint. Um, then I'll just read two more. Um, so this is from the b-ball section. About slap goes a ball on a dark court. Hands, knees, and feet, clock slam and pass. Steel comes in drum, strings, his her hands might boom, pling, gaze, or spine. Bout slap goes a ball. Drilled in eye dreams, till concrete with motion and sound. Steel comes in these forms. Blade, Beam, molten, to feed, open, will, release. Bound slap goes a ball, a hand. In memory, the eye is quicker. Steel come in like a needle or love, like bodies of sound, of flesh in two. What becomes of the in aspirations? Sky hook, finger roll, head fake. What becomes of the swagger of faked out jump shots, crossover dribbles? His shoe will not grieve the hand that held it, will not want or want desire. His shoe will not grieve your hand's holding or its shoeness when you're gone. I want to be like Mike, says we. Want to wear his skilled skin on my feet. I want to be like Mike, say we, just as long as I can take him off. Some eyes want to bear the beauty of LeBron down to the shot and slash. Some eyes want to bear errant banners of burdenless badassery. And then the last one is, uh, is from an essay in a collection of something called A Mathematics of Chaos. And it's an old one, New Orleans Bibliography. In language and landscape, inscape. In language, in landscape, 
inscape in, only tap after taking in my mother landscape, along with the voices of that place. A girl who looks like her father was born for luck. Alcohol, Algiers, alligator, amazing grace, Amelia, Angola, at Chapalaya, Aunt Noni, and Sister Azarine, back of town, Bayou, because her daddy died or left because the firstborn baby died. Beignets, bitch, butsy, cafe au lait, Calio projects, Canal Street, Cardella, cast iron, catching coconuts, catching scents, Cayenne, Clio Street, cockroaches, comb them kitchens, Congo Square, cornbread, courtyard, cousins, CPT, crawfish, Creole, dark, darker, dark skin, daughters, dead end, Desire, desire projects. Desire unmet is desire multiplied. Dirty Rice, Dorothy, Elysian Fields, Ereto, Etufe, Uterp, Ezekiel, Father John's, Philae, Firstborn, Firstborn and Died, Fleur de Lee, Flood for True, Front Porch, Galvez, Girt Town, Gimme Some, Girl, Gimme Got Shot, Get Up in Here, God Don't Like Ugly, Good Hair, Grandma, Grandpa, Grandpa Don't Lost His Mind, Grief, Grief Grown Rooted and Wild. Grief like dirt, hard headed, hard hearted. Her mouth don't know no Sunday. Hi, yellow holy ghost hoodoo, how sweet the sound. How y'all doing? How your mom and them? I, 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 I ain't playing with you, no. Jax, jambalaya, jazz, jump back, jump rope, Katie, kick back, kick your ass. Kitchens, kitchens on your neck, knickknacks, Kool Aid, lanyard, lakefront, left, levy, leveraging, light skin, lighter than a paper bag, Louis. St. Louis, Louis XIV, my bell, my dear, magnolias, make groceries, Martin Luther King Boulevard, Melbourne Main Project, Memory, Mental Ward, Mississippi, Mississippi Bridge, Mississippi River, Miss Myrtle, Miss Tit, Moriel, Morning, Mosquitoes, Morning, Mud Bugs, Mufalata, Nappy Headed, Neck Bone, Neutral Ground, Neutral Rats, Nobody Likes a Bone But a Dog. NOPD, not luck enough to keep a body strong. Oak or gumbo, out front of town, oysters, pecans, pickled pig's lips, pispo, po boys, porch monkeys. Potholes, quadroons, quarter, quiet, rain, rain through the living room windows, red beans, red bone, Reverend Prophet, rice, river, 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 rue, rue, saint, sedity, sassafras, sachimo, screen door, semen, seventh ward, snowballs, speak the word to me. Spit on the broom to stay out of jail. St. Charles Avenue, Stronger Hope Baptist Church, Superdome, Swamp, Tambourine, Chapatulis, Tender Headed, Tender Hearted, Tenderoni, Turpasqua, Thought, Throw me something, mister. Tipitina's troubled on last always. Uppity, vagina, Virginia, voodoo, wade in the water. Water, wishes go the way of sweepstakes. Where you at, where you're from, woman, wrought iron. Your ma, your pa, your greasy, greasy grandma. You, 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 you ain't nothing. You thought like Aunt Hannah who thought cat shit was banana. Xavier, Zataran, Zulu, Zydeco, amen. Only after taking in my mother landscape was speech possible. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Tonya. And, uh, Thank you for coming over to our side. My, our pleasure. Uh, I would also thank my uh, two cur co-curators, uh, Jane Gregory and, uh, and uh, Mary Wilson. And uh, thanks to our friends at University Press Books for uh, providing books. You can, you can buy a book. Time to foster will be happy to sign them. Uh, next, next week, next Thursday, the 27th, I believe Gary Snyder will be here in the spare room. 6.30, so, um, so come back, and thank all of you for, uh, for showing up.